All right, so basically uh, today we're gonna talk about the screen on the new machine here. Uh, there's so much that goes into it. It'll feel like I'm going on and on, but there's just so many benefits to having this screen that we haven't really discussed. Uh, so first of all here, there's on the old machine, you have the machine that's it looks cluttered if you put too much information. So if you look right here, we have the directions how to use a machine. Obviously we put the tool free on it so that people can call the number if they need something. And of course we share it with you. So that's a benefit there. Also, as everyone knows, the partnership with the charity is very important. So you have that here, so that'll go on. So it's very professional looking, again, reminding people in, in the bar. Um, there's also things you can do to help schmooze the bartenders. We talk a, a lot about uh, if the bartenders promote the machine, you do a lot better. So there's things you do here to schmooze the bartenders, or you could put specials on for them, things like this, um, to show that you like them. So the bartenders see this and like, oh wow, the person cares. So that's a nice slide there. Now I've had customers who literally would have bought these machines if we told them they make zero dollars and zero cents a month. That's because of the advertising. It's such a really good opportunity to advertise. There's a couple of vending programs that give away free services because they depend on the ads as well. Actually, a customer, Chris, told me yesterday from Arizona, he told me that there's a water program that basically gives out water for free at gas stations, but they have screens, they have the advertising, and that makes it worth the whole vending business because the advertising is so valuable. Uh, what's really good about our ads though is that it's very niche. So our, our machines go into typically blue collar drinking bars. So therefore you get blue collar drinking people. Uh, for example, football, uh, it's it's very valuable advertising for beer. You see beer ads all the time because people typically drink beer when they're watching football. Kind of goes hand in hand, so it's more valuable. So therefore, any type of uh, criminal defense lawyers or any blue collar ads, uh, for example, you wouldn't see, uh, you wouldn't have a BMW dealership here, for example, but Ford, Chevy would be perfect. So right here, we have an example of an ad for Chevrolet. All right, so basically, when you sell the ads, you don't. no one wants to listen to advertisers, but for example, the Chevrolet dealership probably spends about $100,000 a month in advertising. So what you wanna do is, due to the charity, is call it a sponsorship. Would you like to sponsor the machines? Um, a, it helps the program, but B, also it, it goes to help a, a good cause in the city, and you will have some people that kind of pulls up their heartstrings. The fact that they're helping solve an epidemic, which is drinking and driving, also, uh, everybody loves firefighters, so uh, you call it a sponsorship and you basically give them a paper and say, hey, how much do you want to bid? Similar to like at the uh, games and things like that where they, uh, like a silent auction for charities and stuff at stadiums. So here we have a, a Lyft ad. So we've been working on this for some time. We're trying to get a national advertising partnership with Lyft. Uh, we've been to the head office and have met them, showed them the machine. It's kind of funny because everybody at head office thought it was the most brilliant idea, but as we all know, corporate sales, that doesn't really matter. If they think it's a good idea, it's about getting it done. Uh, in the email here, I'm gonna put an article about uh, Uber. Uh, Uber tried putting machines in Seattle and they literally tried our idea, our partnership with Lyft, like actually in 2016. Luckily for us though, it flopped because we have uh, a lot of market saturation there. So therefore everybody either had a breathalyzer or, or didn't want one and that was it. So they, they kind of flopped out there. So that was good for us. But I think what's gonna convince Lyft to do this is the fact that, hey, Uber tried it. That's kind of how they work the companies. Oh, if Uber did it, we need to do it. Or at least Uber tried. So that's the big thing for us. So again, niche advertising here. Um, there's a lift. We've even offered Lyft to be able to have the banner and colors and even floated the idea of a pink machine to match their coloring. But uh, but also DraftKings will be huge because they've legalized sports gambling all over. So that's a big one too. So the, the point is there's national ones we're working on and also uh, local ones here. So, I mean, again, isn't this a no-brainer here, Chevrolet, like to spend 250 a month to get their name on 25 machines? Uh, for you though, that's an extra 250 a month for nothing. It's huge. So, uh, realtors have been a surprise to me. We've had a lot of realtors sign up. Also, casinos have been good. 
but stuff like this also for promoting if you look here for we're not in LA obviously but I'm hoping that our LA customers will do this uh, something for Kobe Bryant obviously uh, I know one customer in Houston for the Houston Astros they put on the logo go Houston uh, things like that to help draw attention to kind of make people like the machine if that makes sense so there's all kinds of stuff you could do. It's literally a business within a business, this screen. So that's a big part of, as you can see, it's, it's touch screen's kind of cool. Here you can flip through and that. Also, if you look at the look here, it just looks professional having the screen. So here we touch it like this. Uh, you can see if there's Wi-Fi, uh, cell phone reception for the SIM card, uh, settings, you log in, uh, things of that nature. That's how you check the serial number like that. So there's just so many benefits to this. Um, again, just looking millennial for our you know younger drinking crowd. It looks kind of it's white, it's clean, it's uh, like I said. So let's go to pay here. So, so this is just for now. But what's neat about the machine is you can we're going to add in other payment options. It's software. It's like your iPhone or a PS4. It'll do an update, so I can update the machines, and it'll take Apple Pay, Android Pay, Chip. It's got a lot, but for now, we wanted to keep it simple for people, make sure everything's working. But like I said, those things, it's equipped to have those things. And uh, it's just a matter of doing an update and update the machines and we'll be able to offer it. But of course, we wanna make sure it works because you don't want issues with people paying stuff, it'll it'll backfire. So we wanna make certain everything works good. But for now, this is all it is, it's perfect, and uh, go from there, so.